What's going on my broskies, my name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. And in today's video, we're here to bring you guys yet another showcase of Halloween Corazon and Law. Uh, this is a pretty awesome character, honestly. I like the fact that they went out of their way to give a Sugo Fest exclusive to you know, a character that kind of deserves it. I mean, we had V1 Corazon release a really long time ago. And like kind of just like a fun trivia fact that the character with the ID of 1000 in Treasure Cruise is actually Corazon. Corazon was the 1000th ID character in the game, which is crazy to think about. It was such a long time ago now, now that we're in like the like high 3000s, nearly, you know, really reaching that 4000 marker now. So it's been a really long time coming since a V2 Corazon. And I got to say that I think they've done a pretty good job in bringing us a very unique character, a character that's probably not going to see too much play. But a character that definitely has their place in the game. And there are going to be a lot of use cases for a character such as this. So, of course, this showcase video is going to be a little bit more low-key. We've got only three clips for you guys against Halloween Luffy, which he actually dominates against. We've got the San Juan Wolf once again because we get type advantage and it's a really good way to showcase damage. And then also versus the Hody Jones Garp Challenge. So let's go ahead and start breaking down what this character actually does. So, Law and Corazon are an int cerebral free spirit super cerebral class character and their captain ability will provide minus one cooldown at the start of the quest boosting the attack of int and cerebral by 5.25 when you have an empty slot five times otherwise and then boost health by 1.3 and also provide despair reduction for 10 turns so this is a pretty cool effect i like the fact that they are an hp boosting captain as well as providing despair reduction it's a really cool ability to have of course there are still situations where this can be detrimental where if this character is binded as a captain and then you're inflicted with despair unfortunately you cannot get rid of that so there are use cases where that is actually pretty detrimental to the crew but in a lot of of cases removing 10 turns of despair with a very solid captain that provides a very good health boost a solid attack boost and also minus one cooldown really not much to complain about here but then moving on to his super class in order to activate it you have to have him as your captain obviously and you need to make sure that this character has an empty slot or you have either five cerebral characters on the crew so i do like the fact that there is a little bit of uh, leeway in terms of team building or just uh, enabling you to get this super class special because obviously the special ability allows you to get this to activate as well but the super class special will heal you by 25 percent of your max hp and that does allow you to overheal and it also reduces three turns of paralysis and three turns of attack down so further providing additional utility is really great and it definitely could allow you uh, you know a little bit more room for team building you know if you have to get around attack down if you have to get around paralysis especially if you're running double corazon and law removing six turns of paralysis and attack down with their super class specials alone is pretty fantastic so i do like that actually it's a really strong super class special and then you move on to their special which is probably the most important component of the character so because the captain ability and the super class special are focused around having these empty slots no surprise here that, it, that his special will also have a little bit of a component regarding the empty slots but the actual special itself maxes at 12 turns i believe with expansion it goes to 11 which is pretty respectable it will boost cerebral characters attack by 2.75 for one turn which i think is good but i really don't like the fact that his captain ability boosts int and cerebral yet his special ability will only boost cerebral characters so i think that that's a little bit of uh, a little bit of room for improvement there definitely should have been at least an int and a cerebral attack boost as well but on top of that attack boost it changes all of your crew slots into empty that does not go through block slots by the way so the initial activation does not go through block slots 
but it also says that it makes your crew land on empty slots for the next three turns and this includes enemy slot changes so this is a very powerful mechanic in that if you activate this special preemptively it says for the next three turns the only thing that you will receive is empty slots so it's pretty cool because when you activate it it essentially says you know for the next three turns no matter what happens no matter what stage you move into you you are not getting any slots for three turns so it's a very powerful mechanic when you partner it up with the additional effect of the special which goes on to say that it changes the attack multiplier of empty slots to 2.25 normally empty slots only give you a one times boost so they're neutral slots right so they don't give you any type advantage or type disadvantage or they don't give you any additional bonuses it's basically like having a neutral slot on your crew so what it does now is instead of it counting as a matching slot, which would be two times damage, it actually amplifies empty slots to become 2.25 times um, orb amplification, which is very powerful because it means that it's stronger than a matching slot. And it's not as strong as a Wano slot, for example, because Wano slots provide you with a 2.5 times bonus, which is why they're widely considered to be the best slot in the game. Because when you apply orb boosts, it actually amplifies this as well. So, you know, a 2 times orb boost will multiply the 2.25 by 2. And this is why Wano slots are so powerful, right? Because they start off as 2.5 bonuses, orb boosts amplify them even further. So, you get the empty slots for 3 turns, and you also will make them count as 2.25 times orb boosts for three turns now don't get it twisted this doesn't actually count as an orb boost this is just changing the attack multiplier that the orb would normally give you meaning that if you activate an orb boosting effect that will stack on top of what this guy already does so you can get some pretty cool bonuses happening here it is a little bit confusing though when you are using the character because when you activate the special to increase the attack amplification of the empty slots there's no real indicator on the slot itself that it is like uh like glowing or anything to indicate that it's a matching slot the only thing that indicates it is the little buff that you will get um, above your character screen, which is a little bit annoying at times because sometimes it looks like you're not really doing that much damage, but then you realize, no, okay, everything's acting normally, but just visually, I think it would have been nice if there was like a glowing visual uh, addition that made it just make it a little bit more uh, easier to the eye to see, you know, what's actually going on and what's actually being boosted. But overall, I think they've done a pretty good job in building this character. And I mean, they've added some really cool effects as well with the fact that if you do use him as a crewmate, he removes 10 turns of blindness, which is a really nice effect. And then he has a really cool support effect, which attaches to int cerebral units. And at level five, it's not that good actually, because it says that if you, uh, get, if you get a slot change, you change all your slots into empty. But at level three and level four, it says that if your slots are changed by the enemy, you actually change them all into matching slots, which is incredibly powerful. So his support effect at level 3 and level 4 is actually going to be very strong in content, but unfortunately the level 5 support is much to be desired. Same with his rumble abilities, his rumble abilities aren't super strong, it's the fact that his uh, rumble special is very very high CT, so that really hurts the character overall. But I'm a big fan of the unit overall, I think this is a character that is going to see a lot of niche usages moving forward, because if the enemy applies like super block slots for example, they're really difficult to remove or to deal with so but being able to use Corazon preemptively before you move into a stage that inflicts you with super block slots or super bomb slots or anything of that nature being able to just abuse this mechanic is very strong or even if they uh, apply the effect where they put like slot change impossible barriers on your on your characters you can abuse this character for that as well so you can get these empty slots so yeah there's a lot of cool applications for this character obviously nami and robin with their switch effect can give you the empty slots too so that could also be a really cool mechanic that you can abuse but with all that being said that is going to wrap it up from me hopefully you guys did enjoy the video and if you guys did make sure to leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that i post on my channel including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video